I'm Brandon Stiles. This is Bruce Wayne. If you're thinking about building, well, Bruce is gone. If you're thinking about building a WordPress website for your business or your blog, there are five things you have to do to give your website a fighter's chance at success. Whether you're a total beginner to WordPress or you built a couple sites before, doesn't matter. These five keys actually remain the same. Following them means that your website is going to have a much higher ranking on the first page of Google. It's also going to deliver an amazing experience for your customers, your clients, and your readers. And it's actually going to save you a bunch of time. No one wants to be sitting around on their keyboard all day, uh, trying to figure out how to move a buy button around and change its color while people are coming, visiting your site, wanting to buy stuff, and they're like, this sucks, and they leave, and you're embarrassed, and then your business totally implodes, and you're just depressed forever. So now that the doomsday scenario is passed, we can actually talk about the five things you have to do to give your WordPress website a chance at ranking and bringing you business, traffic, visitors, and things like that. They are as follows. Step one, don't cheap out on hosting. You'll see a lot of popular offers for hosting sites like Bluehost, and it's $3 a month, and it makes it look so cheap, and you buy it, and you're feeling good but then your website's not converting very well and it's actually not loading very fast. That's because you're actually participating in something called shared hosting, which means that a bunch of other sites are also using the server you're on. It's wrecking your numbers, wrecking your speed. The difference between a $3 a month plan and a $10 a month hosting plan is huge, not necessarily to your wallet, but in terms of speed, optimization, and the control you have. So point one, don't cheap out on hosting. Use a virtual private server like cloudways.com to ensure that your site is speedy and that you have all the control that you want. The second thing you've got to do to make sure your website is a success, make sure it's secure. Because if it's not secure, when someone tries to pull up your website, Google's actually going to show this super ominous warning and be like, this is not secure, this is not secure, and it's gonna kill your traffic numbers. Making your site secure should be free. You shouldn't be having to pay anything for it. So if you're using a company that's like, hey, it's gonna be five extra dollars or 20 extra dollars, don't do that. It should be free. It should not cost you anything to make your site secure. But you have to make sure it's secure, otherwise Google's gonna bump it down in the rankings and that's not good for business. Step three, find a really good WordPress theme that gives you drag and drop capabilities. It's gonna save you a ton of time because you're not gonna have to learn how to code, you're not gonna have to go in and rummage through all this weird HTML and stuff. You just drag it and you drop it. You want to change the color of a button, you just slide it and boom, the color changes, you spent five seconds. There are lots of free WordPress themes out there. The best one that I've ever come across, and it's one that I still use today, is the Divi theme by Elegant Themes. Divi is a super easy to use drag and drop visual builder WordPress theme for making a website. It's fast, the pre-made layouts that it comes with it, which there are hundreds, look beautiful right from the start. It's already mobile ready, so no matter if your customer is looking at it on a phone or a tablet or a desktop, it is going to shrink down and expand up to exactly whatever device they're using, which is amazing, which you also have to have nowadays. If your site's not mobile ready, Google, Take it right down the crap room, you don't want that either. There's also tons of support. There are tons of free and cool videos on their YouTube for like how to create an affiliate site or how to create a blog. You also get to use really cool plugins like the Bloom plugin for creating email subscriptions and opt-ins or Monarch, which is a social media plugin for specifically sharing your content across the web super easily and super stylishly, if I do say so myself. In fact, if you click this button right here, it will take you to a three and a half hour WordPress tutorial step-by-step -step video that will show you how to use Divi to create your WordPress website. You will go from zero to like ready to launch in three and a half hours and you can get this online tonight. It will be mobile ready, it will be fast, it will look good and it's gonna bring a lot of value to your customers and to your clients. Not to mention, I'll be sharing a bunch of SEO tips and marketing strategies as we go along so you're gonna get a lot of those nuggets too to help you grow. So again, with step three, make sure you get an easy drag and drop WordPress theme and if you would like to check out the Divi theme, click below, watch the video and let's get your site launched today. Also, as a bonus to that, you're going to get the layouts that we create and the pages that we create given to you in a totally free download so that you can actually upload them to your site or your server space and you're already 85% of the way done. Keep your website live tonight, have people start coming, they're having a good time, everyone's laughing, it's really good. Step 
before, optimize from the start. Now, what does that mean? It means to kind of plan out your website ahead of time just a little bit, all right? You don't have to spend months on it, but think about what you want to rank for in Google, the SEO you need to put into it. Think about the content you want to create. Make sure it's fast. Make sure it looks good on cell phones or tablets, whatever. Just set it up for its best chance of success before you start creating. Finally, step five, maybe the most important, focus on the client, not yourself. They don't care. When people are looking at businesses and reading down websites, they're not there so they can be like, hey, let's check out the local accolades of my local businesses and see what they've been nominated for. 30 years of business? Well, that's amazing. No, they're there because they have a problem and they want a solution to that problem. And so they're only reading your website because they think that you possibly have a solution to that problem and they're seeing if you're well qualified. So the more you talk about them, the more you speak to their problems, they're probably going to know you, like you, and trust you, and you'll have a lead for your product or service. Each and every section of your website needs to have a purpose and it needs to be towards driving people to make that phone call or send out an email. Don't just throw a bunch of shit up there and be like, this is amazing, we're amazing, we've been here forever, we helped the president get his job. Can you solve their problem? That's the fifth thing you need to keep in mind. And one of the most important, focus on your client. Talk about them 85% of the time, you 15, and only sneak in at the back end, all right? Our website's not field of dreams, all right? You don't build a website and people come to it and like, oh, this is novel. Look at the cornfield made with the baseball field out in the middle of Idaho. No, they need a solution to their problems and they think that you can give it to them. So key five, focus on your client. So there you have it. Those are the five things you have to do to give your WordPress website or your business or your blog or your blog or your lifestyle or your brand a fighter shot to succeed because it's competitive out there. You have to make sure that you're giving yourself your best shot. I'm Brandon Stiles. I'm a digital marketing and website consultant out of Atlanta. Again, if you're thinking about building a WordPress website, check out the tutorial below and it will take you from zero, meaning you don't have anything, all the way to ready to launch. And best of all, you don't have to know any coding on how to do it. Thanks for watching. I hope that helped. Again, those are the five things you need to do to give your WordPress website a chance. I'll see you next time.